Well, hello, YouTube buds. I thought I'd make a quick video today. It's been forever since I've made a video, but I did finish my latest artwork in pastel, which I'm still fairly new to. So I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. And it's a great blue heron. And you'll see everything's blank behind me. I don't have much artwork at home that's framed. It's still at the gallery. If you would like to see my artwork, just go to georgepencilart.com. That's the best place. If you really don't want to go there for some reason uh, and see the gallery tab, go to um, Instagram. It's George Pencil Art. You'll see the ones I missed on missed video opportunities. After this one, I plan to do another pastel because I want to get into that you know, opportunity to do more in pastel, not just colored pencil or charcoal. And it will be a kingfisher and very colorful bird, just like this one was, but this one's blue and purple. Very nice, very nice. So let's take a look. I am happy the way it turned out. The background I did first, and I did use pan pastels for most of the background. This is a nice um, olive green yellowish pan pastel. And I think that's called violet the purple, including in the great blue heron. And that is just pan pastel because I wanted to use the highest light fast purple. It's the only one I could find. There's certain colors you just cannot find in pencil form that are higher light fast. So that's another topic I've discussed before. Most of the purple in the bird is mixed with white and then I blended that on paper, uh, scrap paper, and then I put it on. So it, that's, it started out as lavender. This is pencil blue. It is actually mostly light blue, but with the green it turned kind of turquoisey on the left and I might have added a little bit of turquoise and it makes a little nice difference between the color on the left and the right as well. The uh, body is off to the left because I wanted it to be more landscaped well. So he's mostly lined up on the left with the head and neck being centered. Signature, there was no good place to put it actually to be more out of the way because uh, it would be just too con uh, confusing to be this. It would ruin this nice water area actually near the feet. To put it on the right without blaring out like, here's my signature, I just used a color that was more muted, light blue, that would match this bluish light blue here. Of course, you go darker to lighter overall with pastel, the opposite of colored pencil really. I'm still trying to get used to that. And I blended, re-blended, fine points blended. I'm like, okay, wait, stop. I just needed this area to be whiter. So I took care of that and then add the finishing lines. And I started with the dark blue lines first and the turquoise lines or light blue next. Mostly it's turquoise lining, then the white. And that made these turn out much more, uh, feathery shaped because there are lines separating the feathers on the bird. Just the final lines, just, I told myself, just make the final move, your final, final lines, stop blending. And just so you can see, here's the original photo. If you want to compare, I decided to get rid of the muddy brown color. It just was a little too boring for me. I wanted the, the whole painting to be more brilliant. And then you get a cool color theme with the green and blue and purple. Press like if you liked it and please comment. And I do get back to all comments. I will start the Kingfisher in a couple weeks because I have to do the technical stuff of the business. The photograph for the print, send it out for printing, frame this, uh, get it to the gallery and get the info done first and send that first so there's all these sequential steps you gotta do. So I'll be busy doing that before I can start the next one. Alright, take care. See you next time. Bye.